Hello. Hello. Whoa. I have made a peanut butter and strawberry sandwich. Whoa. <laughs> What have you been up to while I've been gone? I'm recording a video of our gameplay of or the the one game jam game we made for Steer. Oh, nice. Because I was like, fuck it, why not? Lovely. Well, I'm ready to watch when you are. Also. I think I have a solution for Miracle, and I just tried it, but I'll see how it goes. Oh. Um I put her I, I tried putting her in the female cage, and I immediately took her out again, because as soon as I put her in there, they were stepping all over her, gritting their teeth against her, dreaming her forcibly. She just was sitting there. She looked so, like, unhappy, and she just was not moving at all, as opposed to her crawling around my desk moments before. So, mm. that was, you know, I didn't like that. So my solution was to put her in the cage with all of the baby rats that I have right now. Oh. And I think this might work, because she's a female rat, so she has maternal instincts that she could possibly develop, and I don't think that she would ever be aggressive towards any rat, ever, because I've never seen her, like, even move or run away from the rats that were, you know, grooming her forcibly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I think her being around the baby rats won't pose as a threat to her, they won't bug her or bother her in the same way, and, like... She can just like observe their behavior behavior and grow with them because she doesn't know how to be a rat, but neither do they. And so they're all learning together, so maybe she can just get better at it while you know, she's like Mm. Yeah. With them. So I think that might be better for her. Um and it's also a smaller cage because they're babies, so I'm using one of the older cages. So it's not like this nice big new like fluffy cage that's like good for her, but intimidating, I guess, because it's larger. So she has all the space around her. She might be more, like, content in something smaller for now, and something just, like, more con confined to, you know, giving her space. Yeah. So I think that might work. That seems cool. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. Alright, yeah. let me finish this recording, basically. I just want to oh. get to the end of it so I can show the, the game. Because I, I, like, started it just, like, before. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think they, like, the people who made this bread fucked it up. Because there's two, like, you know the, like, part of the bread where it goes, like, whoop, whoop, and it looks like boobs? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Um, well, there's two of those. I mean, there's supposed to be two lumps, but the, the, there's a third one on the other side, so there's, like, two sides that go... Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Interesting. <laughs> so it's, like, it's very strange, because it doesn't line up properly, so it's gonna be a weird sandwich to eat. Hmm. But it's fine. I'll, I'm just waiting for... I'll manage. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Da, 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 I'm at the final boss room. He's shooting That's old death. men at me. Whatever oh, will I do? Spooky men. Oh no, not the old men. Ah. I love how they like they just run at you as well. They just kind of run. Okay, and then we just... I think they all only shoot to the... Yeah, they only shoot to the left. So I can just run around to this side and beat him up. What a wonderful boss room. This hack panel oh does God. nothing. The ferret hurts. Huzzah. Thank you. Yeah. Boop. Alright. That's it. That's the whole game. You then just fall in the hole and die Woo! at the end. Wee. 